In today's video, we are taking a look at the brand new VABS projector. This is the 1080p LED projector. We have been sent it for a review, but we have not been asked to say anything in good or bad about it. And all of the thoughts expressed will be our own. But what this thing is, it's packed with full of features, got some really nice touches and spoiler alert, this is one of the most color accurate 1080p projector you will find. We have previously reviewed an 8 months projector which was around 150 inch and we will leave a link in the description box and if you wish to see a comparison review let us know in the comment section. So let's take a bit deep dive and find out whether this thing is worth purchasing. The price of this projector has not been finalized yet in UK or in US and we are honored to be one of the first reviewers. Okay, let's get started with the unboxing. You will be presented well-packed projector and in there, there are also media accessories. And to my surprise, it also came 100 inches projector screen, which does not wrinkle. Nicely made a carrier bag as well is included. Inside the carrier bag, you will see projector itself, cable to power socket, remote control, which I will go in detail, double-sided tape, for projector screen and instruction manual. This is the first 200 inch LED projector I have tested and it actually has a protection cover over the light source and that is nicely thought. What is your thoughts about the look of this projector? I really like it. I think it is minimal but classy. I love the color combination front, black, top, white and grey. I do have to say though, it's slightly disappointing. It comes with two HDMI and two USB 2.0 ports and no Google Android TV built in or a USB Type-C port. However, this has the ability to mirror cast your smartphone directly to the projector via AirPlay. And to my opinion, this does not really work well. If you have a Chromecast or an Amazon Fire Stick, this is where the projector impresses its plus points. I've had them for about two weeks now and the best way I can describe them is interesting. Let me explain, but before we get into the review, in case if you're new here, I am AP Tech. I would really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out in case if you're a tech fan like me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with all of the reviews. To set up, you will need a cable to power socket a table or a tripod where you will place the projector. In my case, it's my dining table and unfortunately, you will need to position it projector correctly as it does not have autofocus and level correction. There are also no test pattern or point correction like Jimmy that you will need to set up projector. It will be nice touches if it had the autofocus at least. Once powered on, it's simple and navigation system is easy to follow. You can adjust color temperature, image size and much more. Okay, we are all set now and it's time to enjoy your projector. I come here to take the woman and the boy. I was at the Marine Corps, so I suggest you all turn around and add yokes. I'm a soldier too. My orders are to take them back with me. Oh, 
and the first thing you will notice is its screen size it is insanely huge for my living room and it's truly home cinema dreams became a reality I am powering this through Google Chromecast 4K so it feels like image quality has been enhanced by the Chromecast. The things you're going to notice is the brightness of this projector. Colors are impressively punchy and it's absolutely exceptional. Everyone has his own taste on how image brightness and contrast. This is currently set on a cinema mode and this would be my recommendation. Due to its medium brightness it does pretty good job during daylight as well as you can see I am in a very bright room and the picture quality is still presenting itself exceptional. So will I recommend this home cinema 200 inches projector? Let's measure the pros and cons. Pros are it's minimal and classy look. It's targeted to affordable market. It comes with 100 inch projector screen and a carrier bag. It also has great audio picture quality when using 4K Google Chromecast. And the negatives are, it does not have built-in Android TV and it only comes with two HDMI ports. Finally, these are super easy to use if you're looking to buy a budget home cinema projector with a great image slash sound quality, then this would be for you. They are extremely well made and they provide great user experience which I hope this will be at a price that's more affordable. Well, you have just made to the end of today's video, so thank you for watching. If you drop hashtag VABS in the comment, I will give you a thumbs up so I know you're still here. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications on so you don't miss my next upload. Can you also follow me over Instagram? Until next time, peace out. Started fizzing at a photo they've taken. Space tree flying through the skies and battles happen everywhere. I don't need any hero to save me. I don't know why the kids always crying. I've been thinking about how the captain's probably left in a wasted planet. I thought I had it all together.